All right, guys. Um, so I do apologize for that, like, three-minute delay. I had to get everything all situated and tweeted out and uh, and all that good shit. So uh, we are back for um, weeks 16, 17, and the first week of the playoffs. So this is going to be interesting. Um, I know that no matter what difficulty you're playing on, whether it's rookie, pro, all pro, or all Madden, um, the difficulty level will increase by one during the playoffs. This happens automatically. It's something the computer does to make the playoffs a little more challenging than the regular season. Um, now, with that said, if you're playing on All Madden, what does the difficulty become for the playoffs? Like, does it become impossible to, to actually win a game in the playoffs? Like, like what is, you know, do the, does the computer not make mistakes? Like, I'm actually very curious about how this is going to play out, uh, to be honest, guys. So... Second, second, I'm just taking my meds here. All right. And so let's do some upgrading of our guy. Give him a bigger, strong arm. Don't need to look at the playoff picture. I think we already did that. So let's... Uh... Oh no, we've already played the Eagles, it looks like. So it looks like we have we have two playoff, uh, two playoff games coming. We have the one game against the Giants, and then whoever we play two games in the playoffs. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, this is going to be very, very interesting, to say the very, very least. Yeah, this is going to be... Wow, I still can't believe that Nia Jax is gone. That's crazy. Did it not take? Wow, it did not take. I apologize. I didn't realize I was still sitting there, guys. I apologize. I noticed I didn't hear any, like, announcers starting, and I'm like, I've been sitting here for, like, two fucking minutes. What the hell's going on? Today, from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, it's week right. 17 Us of and the, the Giants. NFL on EA Sports. And it doesn't even, I don't think this game even matters. I think we've, I think we've secured a first round bye. I think we've secured home field. Like, I don't think this game matters, like, at all. At least to us. Like, it might matter to the Giants. Like, the Giants might need it in order to get into the playoffs. It's the New York Giants taking on the Dallas Cowboys. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. 
This the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match Yeah, up. like they could lose their Dallas wild card. If they, if they don't win here, they could lose their wild card spot to the, uh, to, the, uh, to the Redskins if the Redskins win. That's interesting. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at this jump. Looking to throw on second down. Jones, that's complete to Slayton. All right, so defense might hold. I don't know. It's going to depend. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And Barkley did not get there. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is All the right. wheels are turning there on we go. the sideline. As a play caller, you're filing That's that a hell of a stop right, now, right there. You? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it. Oh, they're going to go for it on fourth and two. Gutsy call. From the gun, Jones. And Jones and overthrows his receiver. Complete. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first God, look at that interception afternoon. touchdown ratio. So Jesus, he's like Jameis. Under head coach Mike McCarthy. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. God, speaking of Jameis, how unlucky was that shit? In the damn Saints-Bucks game. Like Jesus. Shit. Now the first carry for I the saw that damn linebacker coming through. The second the line yeah, broke, I saw that damn linebacker coming there. in. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. <laughs> I saw his ass. Nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. At the 22-yard line. Elliot. Oh, hell yeah. Go Zeke. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the How he didn't the break his leg, five. God only knows. I know, right? Like, do you think it was, do you think it was intentional? Like, you did that shit on purpose? A bit of a disadvantage when you start talking MVP. Might not be the case this year. You think he's got a shot, don't you? I do. I think he's got more than a shot. But what he's going to need here down the stretch this late in the season, he needs that big closing game. That ah, game come on. all going to reflect on and go, oh, my goodness. Did he put up a number? Let's say 200 plus. The numbers for Zeke from last week. He was creeping up toward 200 yards. Thought he was going to get there. Didn't quite make it, but also two rushing touchdowns. And he, he really did creep up toward 200. Those numbers this week, his team would take it in a heartbeat, wouldn't they? Because last week, he was spectacular. Out of bounds. 22 yards there, a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Yeah, there were a lot of people I was hearing that were saying that, that they thought it was intentional. Like they meant to hurt him. First down. Got an open man. Gallup, it's nice Michael catch. Gallup. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. All right, we're just going to keep on moving the damn change. to throw now on first down. Oh, that, that was damn near a sack is what that was. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. 
This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability, there you go, Zeke. You the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver uh, I guess on in that this case, run. And like let's face it, it shouldn't bullet. be a surprise. Yeah, I guess He's I can see that. Backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Go. There you go. There you go, Coop. Oh, a one-handed grab there. He's got it for the touchdown. There you fucking go, Coop. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him in... Now Greg Zerline on okay. the extra Damn, point. Damn, I was not expecting the Giants to make it that easy this, the, the first go-around. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. On the return, Corey Ballantyne. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. As the Giants head back out there, let's take a look at the playoff picture in the NFC. And this certainly confirms all the chatter, just how big of a final weekend this is. For the moment, the sixth seed is theirs, but it'll take a victory to officially lock that down. And we have to keep reminding ourselves that number six, that's no longer the final seed. We go seven deep in each conference now. But you're at the point now where you have to win. Oh, Dan, I thought he was going to pick that. I really thought for a second he was going to pick that. Other teams can help you out by winning their games or losing their games. You got to take care of business yourself and erase all doubt. The numbers in last week's contest for Ingram, four catches, 58 yards. And he was able to get open there, but that's not always easy against this bunch defensively. We are deep enough into the season where numbers count. This is number one rated defense in the NFL. He'll have a tough time. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Boom! Got him again. Dude, this Cowboys D is not fucking around. Like, they started out really shaky in the early portions of the season, but they are not fucking around now. And that's going to make it fourth down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yarded. Terrific read. Better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. He gets Oh, away nice, one. nice, uh... Nice shrug off by Pollard. That It'll was nice. 40 yard punt, eight on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Cowboy offense heading out. Let's take a look at the punt. Coming into the weekend in the end. They start on the ground with Elliott. Oh, I didn't spin fast enough. Five out of this, up to the Still, line. I'll take five. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game? Zeke wants to hit 200. I don't think you're going to hit 200 in this game, continue. man. Just make sure you I, just, I don't think you're going to do it, Zeke. You can try, but I don't think it's going to happen. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. Oh, and you boy, had to jump to the side, didn't you, Zeke? First down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Inside my own 40. Um, 
You know what? The D's been doing all right. The D's been doing so good. I'm going to give this a shot. A few inches, so I'm going to give go this a shot. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find nope. out. Fourth I don't down. think he got that. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. Yeah, I don't think he got that. Nope. Damn it. On first and ten, Jones. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. First down carry for Barkley. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. A gain of nine brings up second and one. At the Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Saquon Barkley. Oh, Saquon, nice. And he'll go down here nice at run. the 12-yard line. Credit the tackle there to Jordan Lewis. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That leads us to a first Sorry, that may have been, so uh, going forward on that fourth may have been a mistake. That gave him some momentum. Not sure how I feel about that. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Not 100% sure how I feel about that. Yeah, not at all. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. Oh, there you go. There you go. Back here, losing yardage to the nine. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on their early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Another try for Barkley. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Third and goal. All right, get him. Get him. Jones. Nope, caught it. Damn it. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Sterling Shepard with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off All and right, go. so I gave them that now pretty much, and I'm okay with that. Pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Goskowski with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This is Tony Pollard. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. All right, there we go. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time this unit was out here, turnover, and then that turned into six. Yeah, that wasn't a great turnover. And that was my decision. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Completes it right side to Cooper. There you go, Coop. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first This down. fucking pass defense is atrocious. Just absolutely fucking atrocious. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to find Gallup here complete. Oh, Gallup got he's rocked. Get this one down to the 40-yard line. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Oh, there First you go. down carried by Elliott doesn't amount to much, as he'll get forward for about a couple. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Okay, that's better. That's better. And that like he's averaging just short of five a carry. I'm okay with that. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On third down, Elliot. I think he might have got that. picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. <laughs> I was thinking he may have got that, yeah. A first down carry by Elliott. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Dude, he's breaking off some of these big runs. Like he had a 15-yarder earlier, 13, another like 17-yarder. He's breaking off some chunks. that's admitted a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense... They're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. 12 more yards there and another first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside. And this will Boom. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. There we go. There we go. CD Lamb with touchdown number God, the Giants D can't do shit to and stop the this Cowboys team. Cowboys have taken the lead. There was a lot of zip on Zerline now Zerline on to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And Ballantyne going to sit on this one. Who the fuck a is B-Fab? The New York set to take the field. And the magnitude of this game... Oh, the chick from uh, the fans, that tag the team. Wow, the mouthpiece. There's just with them a palpable buzz right now. They know they control their own destiny. Win and you're in. And I think every player wants that. I think every coach wants that. I haven't been in an organization yet. That wants to be in a that game actually wouldn't be a bad base for, uh, for Delilah if she were to wrestling. Their goals. In this situation, it's very cut and dry. Win and you're in the playoffs. That's their mission. That's their challenge. And you know they've chosen to accept it. And what they told us is this has been the most focused week of practice we've had all year. You wouldn't expect any different. Yeah, and you know, at the beginning of the season, you have multiple goals. They just have one now. Win the game. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now it's Barkley. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to And we're at the 41. Kind of creeping up toward half. Nine. From the gun, Jones, catch made by Slayton. You were not getting away from him, like at all. You were not getting away from him. Mm. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Operating from the gun, Jones. Got him oh, nice catch. 
And he will have a Giants first down as they're yeah, able to nice get catch. the third down conversion. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. There you go. And second back right around the 44. Everson Griffin, it's his 20th sack of the season as he continues what could be a record-setting campaign. He'll get it Dude literally needs three more sacks in this game. He can get three sacks in this game. He's broken the record. I don't think he can do it though. To their timeouts, as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. I don't know. I just, I, I don't think he can. Jones now to throw on third down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Damn near had another one. Damn near had a second one back to back. My defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And this is a beauty as that ball's going to angle out at the six yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. That Something really is a good coffin corner punt. That, Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys just bear them. Got to be careful not to take a sack here. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Ooh, God and damn it. Traffic and it's intercepted. God damn it. I thought I threw my way out of a sack and that did not happen. Away from pay dirt here first and goal. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. That was a hell of an interception. Like, the dude caught that as he was sliding. Like, that was nice. I'll give him that. Like, that was nice as fuck. Here's Jones, operating from the gun. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. God damn it. There we go. Just that Sterling quick. Shepard, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Try for Goskowski. And we've got a good one, Bruin. We're all knotted up at 14. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And it was his interception on the last drive that wound up leading to a game-tying touchdown. And somehow... All right, let's do this shit. No fucking pick this time, for fuck's sake. Trying to shake off the interception from the oh, last shit. drive. Oh, shit. Are you fucking throw. serious? Oh, he's got a little daylight. And the return here. God damn it. The -yard line. That was a, just a bad throw. I picked the right fucking route, though. Like, he was right there. You think he's a rookie, Charles. He just overthrew him. Confidence start to become a fact. Jesus Christ. Jones. On first and ten, they'll set up the screen to Barkley. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. From the gun, Jones finds his tight end Ingram and inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. Cowboys, 14. So a late turnover leads to a quick drive, and in turn, that quick drive leads to three points. So someone makes a mistake. God damn. The other side, learning from that, that was mistake, taking that was care something else, man. And making sure they put some points on the board. Well done. Yeah, they are into field goal range now as he's got the first down at the 26. At their own 26-yard line. Yeah, we're going to run. We're going to run now. Yeah, we're going to run. Definitely going to run. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. There you go, Zeke. Just short of the 45 at the 40. Zeke is still breaking off nice runs. Come upon halftime here in week 17. As we'll send you down. And just like that, dude, just like that, we're down by three. Jesus Christ. Ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you as always. Welcome into our final regular season edition of our halftime report. Playoff lives hanging in the balance as we take you around the NFL one final time. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. And it's the Eagles who are out in front. <coughs> oh, wow. Wentz, it doesn't matter even if the Giants win. Like, or even, even the Giants lose. There. Like, it doesn't look like Washington's going to get that win they desperately need. Game. And in that one, it's the visiting Dolphins who are out in front. Jordan Howard, a touchdown run. Lastly, let's get you to Charlotte, North Carolina. Check on the Panthers. The Panthers and the Saints. Ah, oh, Panthers, Panthers are getting beat and by the Saints. And they've gone to the half in that one with the visiting Saints out on top. The veteran, Drew Brees, with a touchdown pass. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal right, I separates don't. these yeah, two okay, teams I'm getting the ball. as we Good. come back for this second half. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 26. Now come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense in this third quarter. All right, I got to be careful with the ball. My QB is overthrowing. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got an open man, the tight end, Jarwin. Go. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Like, literally, the dude has two incompletions, and both of those incompletions are interceptions. Second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. This is Elliott. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The ball carrier taken down at the 43. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. There's a ball thrown right side. Damn it! I was kind of hoping that Coop would get that block. I think I outran my block. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first Yeah, down. I'm pretty sure I outran my damn block. They'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. What stupid thing did Davis say now? Second and two. Brings up second and two at the Giants' 24-yard line. Oh, God. Wow. 
Elliott broke that tackle. And Jesus. Down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. He turned a three-yard loss into a first-down run. God damn it, Zeke. Talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. A lot of times, dude, that's a second. That is the second straight tackle. He has shrugged right the fuck off. And goes to one of those. It was Marcus Golden that time who came roaring in to get him. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. Extra tight ends, extra perimeter. beef. You're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. And this is caught. There you go, Lamb. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. C.D. Lamb. His second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Cowboys have retaken the lead. And remember, partner, that's... Okay, don't make that motion again, quarterback, because it looked like you were just sucking an air dick. I'm just saying. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So that drives seven plays in length, and it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. Come on. Oh, he jumps that route, but he, you were just a little off, my guy. You were just a little off, but that corner straight jumped that route. See what they have up their sleeve. Brings up second and three. Throwing again on second down. Jones. A quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. This is Barkley. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that it's yeah. a precursor. Of he a did find some room half. there. The -yard line. Jones fakes the give he to keeps Barkley. it. Caught ah, right found a hole in the zone. And he's going to have another first Found a hole here. in the, the zone. Tackles made at the Cowboys 30. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. On the run, it's Barkley. About there you go. That's not too bad. There to the 27. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. The yeah, defense was so they good to start the game, but they have just literally been falling apart sure since the first quarter. They had a really good fourth quarter, and they've had a really bad second and third so far. They'll run on first down. Barkley. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So far, anyway. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Operating from the gun. Jones. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all. All right. All as he's Got to make a down. stop here. Need to stop a here. Minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And four. Now Jones from the gun on third down. Boom. 
He'll be hit. Demarcus Lawrence. I would have much rather Griffin. Go, I would have much rather Griffin had got that so we can inch one step closer to the record, but I'll take it. It's all right. To say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first, this one from 38. Goskowski's kick is good, and that'll bring him back within a point. Makes the score, Cowboys 21, Giants 20. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. Ten-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Wow, that's hilarious. Somebody posted up a, uh, a comment that uh, apparently everybody from Triple H's old NXT is getting whacked under Order 66. That's fucking hilarious. They'll start the drive with Ellis. Yeah, he went fucking nowhere. Much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Uh, perhaps we can sometime plug. Uh, this current run is literally just face of the franchise, running through a career, uh, seeing what happens in this guy's career. They go to Elliot again. Nice. God. Well, he still turned like a one yard loss into like an eight yard gain, so I'll take it. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Did and he get it? Get I don't know. First before he's taken down yes. At the awesome. Wasn't sure if he actually got that or not. And that last carry puts him right at a hundred <clears throat> for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Now this throw caught left side, and he'll be taken okay. down, but not before he works it past the. Go 50. Gallup. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 46. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. And we've got a dandy here, a one-point game as we begin the fourth. It's about to be, a, it's about to be an eight-point game. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Smash mouth, hard people. nose football is what that is. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Ooh, nice cut. And he'll Got go the first with that cut is what he did. Yard line. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. Oh, that was They're ugly. Slower, that front he lost like four. Football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Nice. Oh, Coop, you got to hang on to that. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Ninth play of the drive. Damn it, Coop. Certainly not an easy one on third and long. Out of the gun, they'll look to nope. throw. Nope. God damn it. The second this, I let that go. The, the second I let it go, I knew it was going to be picked. Picked up by James Bradbury. The 20. 10. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. God damn it. I knew that was coming. This game, it's been defensively oriented on both sides. So I guess it stands to reason that the play of the game comes on defense. So it's my kind of game. You know that. That's Anytime right. we have that's a right. defensive battle, but that, it, as you said, it stands literally to that's the half the game their takes points takes came from turnovers. Play, Jesus. And the way the defenses were dominating. Yeah. All right. 
right now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Throwing Jones. And it is in. Is it in bounds? So they nope. can't convert. Out of bounds. Two. And now the lead stays at five. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Boy, oh, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. take over first and 10 at their own 31 and as this offense makes their way back out nfc playoff we give you a look at what's going on line of scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10 all right and after the pick six they go right back to the air right the hole in the zone right there there you go and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards on the play. I don't necessarily want to leave too much time on the clock, but if that safety pulls, I'm throwing it. Now on first down, he'll drop to nope. throw it. Safety did not pull throw underneath. Side complete. That's Elliott. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. How? like them bullshit calls that Dallas got last night with the damn unnecessary well, roughness bullshit in the fourth quarter that's not the penalty you want not at all and now your discipline comes in the question having poise this stage of the game you can't have those kind of plays after the penalty it's Elliott and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Again, it's Elliott. God damn it. Tried to cut that out, and it did not today, happen like I was hoping it would. Go anywhere. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. All right, this is gonna be this is gonna be huge. Now a shotgun snap as they look. There we go. Bam! It's complete. Down at the one. First and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Down at the fucking one. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big. There he is in There you go, Zeke. For a cowboy touchdown. There the fuck you go, Zeke. Ezekiel Elliott with touchdown number 27. That ties Priest Holmes for the third most in a single year. And the Cowboys have once again taken the lead. Here we go now as we Oh, get we're going for it. I'm not even controlling this. Conversion. I don't like that. They'll let Elliot try and run it in. Oh, Elliot's just going to run it in. I'll tell okay. The end zone again, and he seems okay. to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. Oh, they blasted him. The nice. The 22 yard line. The Giants take over first and 10. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Jones now throwing on first down. Come on. Open man right side okay, they're going to get the first. That's all right. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. 
And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Here's Jones on first down. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. There you go. There you and go. He's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Oh, and they had him stop short of the first, but a penalty marker down. And that looked Personal like a foul face, face mask. mask. Jesus. So Would have had a stop there. Would have had a goddamn stop there. It doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. From the gun, Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. Give him six on the play, and it'll make it second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. At the 37 yard Operating from the gun, Jones. To Shepard, complete over the middle. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 26. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Jones on first and ten. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Demarcus Lawrence has now recorded ten sacks on the season. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Another try after the first down sack. Jones over the middle, complete to Tate. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Another damn face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play. Another damn face end. mask. Just trying to do your job, Just, right? Jesus trying to get Christ. him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And uh, M plugs, if you're still around or you happen to watch this later on YouTube, thanks for the follow. I didn't see it till literally just now, so thank you for the follow. It's much appreciated, man. They'll run it again with Barkley, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. When the game wants you to lose, I know, fucking right. Will lead us into the two-minute warning. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Barkley, toss play left. Nope, not this, this time, play bitch. goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. The Wolf Hunter. A big I think that's what they call him, the Steven Swedish Wolf Hunter. Leighton Van Der Esch. And Goskowski's kick is good. There you go. And with a little more than a minute to go, we are all tied. So a big kick to get this back. I got three timeouts, though. Is. Did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get it to overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, 
You can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you, but you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right between the two. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. Oh, Cooper and shook that boy out of his shoes. Before reaching the 45-yard line. First play of the drive, a success. 19 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. They'll look to throw now on first down. And this How? is intercepted. Picked by Julian Love. Ow. Or you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. Like, this dude, okay, this this computer really doesn't want me to lose because that dude literally teleported like three and a half yards for that for that pick. He, he literally teleported. Go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today. And Fucking for the next game. teleported. <laughs> Now Jones, throwing on first down, gets this out to Saquon Barkley. They'll contain him to just four, second down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, it's brought in left side by Tate. All right, come on, guys. Like, you got to tighten this shit up. The second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Jones now on first down. There you go. Okay. Jalen Smith doing something worthwhile finally. Downfield, go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again, Jones. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And the stiff arm made it a pretty little run. Not a huge gain, but a nice chunk of yardage. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's okay. over. So if I was able to hold them. That, that's something. That's, that's fucking exactly something. Right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So we're right back where we started. All even as the, the goddamn away. last game of the year is the only game all year to go to overtime. Valentine to return. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. New York ready to go again offensively. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The okay, ones there you go. There's the one. No, they the hell are you taking a timeout for already? Put the ball in the end zone and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block would be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Well, I thought he got more than three. It's a gain of three. It looked like he got more than three. A gain of three. Now a first throw here in overtime. Got his man complete over the middle. That All right, this is going to be like third and two. To get this one oh, he actually got the first? It's the hell of a generous spot for the ball. Hell of a generous spot for the ball. You have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On 
on the draw. This is Barkley. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. There's Gerald McCoy on the tackle. Now this Why the fuck is Demarcus Lawrence on the sideline? Like, you should be out there rushing the passer, my guy. Season in Carolina. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Barkley. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It'll go down as a two-yard <coughs> loss, and it brings up a third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Coming up on a third and nine. Opening drive of overtime as they look to convert. From the gun, Jones. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he can only get this to the 42 yard line. And that is not near enough. He no, it is not. To just get All right, my turn. That, but not enough. And now fourth down. Well, I know you're toward the middle of the field here, but still, fourth down this distance. You got to punt it right. That's definitely the first instinct because you say, okay, let's just play some field position, make sure we don't lose the game here, turn it over in a key spot. But if you feel really good about your trigger guy, if you feel great about him, you might want to leave the ball in his hands and let him work his magic. Oh, they're going to pin me way deep. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. Set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves. All right, so you got like, it. what, two? And they turned it back over to him, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Now part one is done. Now part two. They'll keep it on the ground. Elliot. There we go. That's better. The 10 to about the That's some wiggle room. Work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. They'll try and run for it with Elliot. And he will have the okay. first down. Now I definitely have some fucking wiggle room. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Two minutes Two left minute to warning. this overtime session, and still all time. Oh, God damn it. They got to me that time. First sack of the game was at a really good time for y'all. I will give you that. First sack of the game was really good timing for y'all. on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. God damn it. That was almost a second straight sack. This will be incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And that takes us from second to third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. God damn it. Pressure comes and down he goes. Leonard Williams, he's the one to get they picked it up. sack number seven for him on the year. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-line. You really do. Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Yeah, the Giants ready to come out now. They punted last time they... They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Now another timeout called for by the offense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Operating from the gun, Jones. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Okay. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. 
They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside. We need to stop here, guys. Like we need y'all need y'all need to step it up here. First and ten. Jones with a handoff to Barkley and a short gain down to about the 33. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. That's their second and last timeout here in the overtime session. We'll be back. They'll go to Barkley again. Come on. There you go. There you go. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. There you go. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It'll be their second and final timeout, remember, here in overtime. We'll be back. A 49 yard attempt. And he got it. The kick is good. The kick is good. He's able to split the uprights. All right. Yeah, the Giants, Giants won this game. I'm pretty sure that, no, that should be game. Fuck a 3 nothing lead. That should be game. Yeah, I was going to say. He's treated to an absolute dandy in this one. A great finish in overtime with a long field goal. Everybody, including us, on the edge of their seats. Quite a game. And it's rare that you get a game into overtime that it doesn't turn out to be a dandy, right? That's what we saw here. And just what you were talking about, a long field goal to win it. So definitely not a gimme. So there was tension all the way through until the ball went through the post. But it did go through the post. Ice water was in his veins. So for the Giants, the win means they'll finish in double digits at 10 and 6. And that is maybe not exactly what they were hoping for, but a better than average season nonetheless. Meanwhile, for Dallas, this was basically just an exhibition game for them as they'd already clinched home field advantage. And the playoffs will run through their house as they'll get the week off and get set to host a divisional round game in two weeks' time. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports. All right. So that was uh, that was game one. Lost by three in overtime. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that.